Greetings. Welcome back. My name is IRFRO and I have a short guide for you guys today. Today we'll be looking at BDO's uh, node system and worker system and how you can use it to make money or just gather things in general. Now, the main thing about BDO is that questing, unlike other MMOs, does not give experience. However, it does give you contribution point experience, as you can see right here. Now, contribution points, you use these for everything. If you want to rent a fence, if you want to connect different nodes, if you want to, you know, just invest in nodes, you need contribution points. Now, as you can see, I have 144. It's not a lot, but right now I have enough for what I'm doing. And it can only go up as you play the game. So you may be asking, well, why do I need contribution points for? As I've said earlier, you use it for nodes. What are nodes? Well, if you press M, the map will show you that there are these little circles from all around the map and in between main cities, as you can see, Dahlia, which is where we are at right now, and the city below us, Heidel. Now, in between these two cities, there are different nodes. Now, each nodes are different, and they can be categorized as either a a simple, like, this fortress-looking thing. That's what I call them. Or some kind of gathering node, like this one, which has potatoes and chicken. Or this one down here, which is a quarry, which is a mining node, and it has ores. And this one has copper and iron. Now, if you want to utilize these nodes, you must first invest in them. So you would actually have to go to the actual node manager and talk to them to invest points. Now, depending on the node that you're looking for, you actually need anywhere from one to three contribution points. And this whole system is very, very easy once you understand how it works. So basically, in order for you to share storage between two different cities, you must connect the nodes in between. What do you mean by shared storage, you may ask? Well, each city has their own internal storage where you can store items. Now, say you want to transfer an item from Delia to Heido, or receive an item from Heido to Delia, you simply put it in here, connect these nodes, and then you can transport them in between the cities by pressing the transport button and send. Now, that takes care of the warehouse aspect. If you want to move stuff around and you don't want to travel across the map, we'll take a look into the nodes itself. So in order for you to benefit from, say, catching a fish in this area of the map, and then selling it down here is that you must have these nodes connected first. Ooh, that's the sound of a boss. Anyway, the nodes is, think of it as a, like these are small villages, you may say. And then the small villages lead up to a giant city, as you can see. So. If you want to sell something that you were that you caught in Delia or trade items that you made in the city over here, you have to connect these nodes oh. and then sell it over here for a profit. If you don't connect two cities together, you will not gain any sort of bonus or modifier. In fact, you actually lose money because goods made in one city and then sold to the next without uh, a connection between the two will only yield you 30% of the item's original price. Now, however, if you were to connect two far away cities, say Velia, and then all the way to the left, we have Cathion, which is another major city. Now, if you were to make something over here and then sell it, 
back to where we are at, you would actually get a distance bonus. Now, the distance bonus will increase as the further you go away from the uh, original city where you've made your goods. So, if you've made something all the way on this side from Cathion, and then you sold it all the way over here and out to Nova, that would give you a large or a larger distance bonus than if you were to sell something from Velia and then like if you made something from Velia and then sold it in Heidel. So the longer the distance, the more profit you make. However, that requires more contribution points. Hence why you would need more questing. See where I'm getting at? Now in order to hire a worker, you would need to visit a worker manager, which we will look at in the next video. As I've said, this is a short video and I don't want to get too much in depth into it because I know there are a lot of videos like this explaining how nodes and other such things work. So I just want to give you guys a brief look into it in case you are interested in working with uh, nodes and workers as a passive income or you're just looking to do it for fun. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.